I don't know about you, but I'm a big fan of king crab. I could eat those creatures all day long. Today we're making a super simple king crab salad in some lemony little cucumber boats. Now let's go! King crab, a horrible invasive sea monster that we as a society have now deemed luxury food. It's all the weird stuff. They are fantastic and you could debate that they are even sweeter than lobster. It depends though, it depends on the lobster and it depends on the crab, but they can be. I'm gonna save a leg for my wife. Let's just begin breaking it down. If you wanna use a towel because of these spikes, you're welcome to, they're not, they're not too bad. So we're just bending everything backwards when we're doing this, right? It's like jujitsu, right? We're gonna get this thing in an arm bar. So it bends this way, we're just gonna bend the opposite way. Put your thumb there so you get some leverage and just snap, boom. Same deal right here. Sometimes the meat will come out with it. Whoop. So you got all that, next step. All right, now there's a lot of ways you can work with this. If you're just at a party and you're serving it, slice it in little chunks like this where it'll easily just slide out. So easy, just bump. Or if you want a really unbroken piece, you can even just go in there with scissors. You should use kitchen shears. <laughs> These aren't them, but that's pretty easy, right? Two slices and then you simply just open it up like this and that meat will just pop right out. Nice big piece. Now as far as these knuckles go, you can kind of just half them and then it becomes really easy just to pull all that meat out. Always check for shells when you're doing this. Nothing ruins a shellfish experience like a crunchy shell. And sometimes if the gods shine upon you, you'll get a nice easy pull out like that. And since I'm doing a salad, I'm just gonna chop it into pieces about this size, an inch across, into a bowl. Now I'm going in with some homemade mayo. This is just the recipe in the corner, minus the garlic. Usually I use chives, but our valley is hurting on deliveries right now, so all I could get was green onion, but that might even be better. And so, we're just gonna slice these nice and thin, just once through. I wanna get a little bit of the green and the white part in here. Straight in, some lemon juice. That's pretty clutch. Let's skip that ingredient. There's already a little lemon in the mayonnaise, but we need more. Some quality sea salt. This is Malden salt. And some Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. That's just black pepper. And just fold it together. But we wanna mix a little bit so it really holds that mayonnaise well. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do some veggies to dip in this. Cucumber, English cucumber. Cut that in half, cut that half in half. How about this with the cucumber? Let's really hollow it out, make a really nice shape. Little teaspoon works best. What I'm gonna do is stand it up and just take a sliver off that back end. That way it'll sit. Now, what I'm gonna do with my little cucumber boats here, I'm gonna put quite a bit of lemon juice and then I'm gonna hit them with just a little bit of Malden salt. This is just gonna brighten things up, lift things up. Now I'll just go with some of my crab right into these little cucumber boats. You know guys, I got a bunch of stuff for this video. Peppers, celery. So as far as what you wanna do with the crab salad, that's up to you. This is just a really refreshing way to eat it. I feel like when you're gonna eat luxury stuff, you're not gonna do it too often. But when you do do it, you should just, you know, just go big, treat yourself. That's the way to do it. Okay. Ah! Hmm. I honestly wouldn't change a thing about this. Highly recommend. Until next time, you know I love you in the mouth.